Hello, Tony Walker here. Got a follow-up video for you a couple of days ago uh, for Pastor Matt Everhard. Um, I made this video available and he shared it on his channel uh, and uh, put it on at um, edwardstudies. I uh, can't remember if, it, if it's edwardstudy.com or .org, but um, he, he posted a link to that there and I was very thankful for that, but one thing that was kind of frustrating, not anything to do with him, my own personal recording of that video, the portion that dealt with the Logos Bible software, um, which was about probably about 12, 15 minutes worth of video, um, for whatever reason, the file corrupted and it, it would not play and could not get it to upload. Uh, so whatever the reason was behind that, not sure. Um, I wanted to go back and, and mention that since I, I did intend to have that uh, for you on the first video. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just give you a little idea of um, why it may perhaps for some people be beneficial uh, to have the Logos edition of the works of Jonathan Edwards um, either as a, um, a supplement uh, to the, the printed volumes or, if you don't need the printed volumes, it may be a very, very nice way to, to have these works with you at all time, uh, just in a, a pure electronic format. But whatever whatever the case be on that for you, whether you would use them as a supplement in addition to the, the hardbound volumes, or as you know, your only uh, copy of those, um, it would be a, a good thing to have, in my opinion. A um, couple of links to mention, uh, just maybe a little bit self-advertisement. Uh, Preacherdonly.com uh, slash J.E. Trip. Uh, that'll show you some photos from uh, Jonathan Edwards trip from a few years ago and uh, videos from the Jonathan Edwards trip that you may have perhaps already seen on YouTube. Uh, you can check all of those out on there. Um, and then... Uh, the video I recorded the other day, and then the PDF file with the ISBN numbers that you can use as you uh, use BookFinder for you to search for these volumes. All right. Um, first and foremost, uh, none of this would be possible if um, edwards.yale.edu was not in existence. I mentioned this in uh, one of the videos here in this section, but um, you know the, the guys at the Edwards Center at Yale Divinity School at Yale University um, you know what a what a privilege that would be to be able to work there, and um, and you know have the the task of taking uh, the writings of Edwards and the publishes published items of Edwards, and put them for the world to read online for free uh, at edwards.yale.edu. Uh, so that is one place that you uh, can always access these volumes. If you, you know, only read Edwards, you know, maybe once every couple of months, and that's just to, to look up a quote or something, uh, that would probably be, you know, more than you could ever read through in a lifetime uh, for some people, or for, for most of us, uh, but there is quite a lot there. Um, if you want to take your Edwards studies maybe a little bit further and um, have a system where you can highlight and organize notes and uh, cross-reference things and check out other uh, volumes that link to other volumes, uh, very quickly. Um, maybe the Logos edition uh, of the works of Jonathan Edwards would be something nice for you to add to your virtual library. Um, the point of the first video was how to, you know, to get the books at a cheaper price, and I, I'll just mention with the Logos Bible software, um, I have seen them one time. Now, that doesn't mean it's never happened before, but uh, to my memory, in the last four or five years of keeping up with the Logos software, the works of Jonathan Edwards, the full 26-volume set, has only gone on sale um, at, at a substantial discount anyway, um, one time that I can remember. That was when um, Yale was the uh, one of the highlighted, uh, spotlighted publishers of the month, and various things, um, the the commentary series from uh, Anchor Yale Bible Commentary Series, I think it's called, they were on sale. Probably the Anchor Yale Bible Dictionary, I would guess, was on sale that month. And then um, and then I realized that the works of Jonathan Edwards would be included in that sale since it is from Yale. And so uh, they had it um, for 75% off. And then one of the benefits of Logos Bible Software Store is um, on certain purchase, if purchases, if they cross a certain threshold, you can break it up into monthly payments um, interest-free. And so that is a, a nice thing that they do for uh, do for their customers. 
Uh, so that's just something to, to keep in mind. Now that time changes, and you know, whether or not they'll go on sale in the future again, I'm not sure, uh, but just wanted to make that um, make that uh, announcement for you. All right, so now actually getting into the software. Um, you know, if you, um, you get this package, you add it to your software, um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Now, the, the software is quite overwhelming, and you know, even with tutorials and things like that, um, there, there's still just so much in there that it's hard to wrap your head around. Um, but just for example, to show you the one thing in this video, what I did is I made a thing called JE Layout. JE Layout, and what I do, I click on it, and it brings up a window like this. And so I can have my Bible on the left, in the middle, I've set it up to have kind of a Jonathan Edwards commentary using volume 24, um, volumes 1 and 2, which is the Old and New Testament notes from his blank Bible. And I can just kind of get a, a quick reference to see, did, uh, did Jonathan Edwards make any personal notations concerning this verse in his his study Bible, his personal Bible? And if he did, they will be listed right here. Now, the... The Yale series and the works of Jonathan Edwards is 26 volumes. Um, and so, you know, what about the other 25 remaining volumes? Well, for that, over here in the bottom right corner, um, I have the Cited By tool open, and I have a thing that I created called the Jonathan Edwards Collection, which takes um, the Yale edition of the works of Jonathan Edwards, the Banner of Truth edition of the works of Jonathan Edwards, the, um, I can't remember exactly how they title it, but the the more works of Jonathan Edwards you can get as an add-on to the 26 volumes, um, as well as various other volumes that, that have to do with Jonathan Edwards. Um, I added them to a what I uh, called a Jonathan Edwards collection. And then up in the top right, uh, link more to theological words and not necessarily uh, individual verses, would be um, the Jonathan Edwards Encyclopedia, which came out um, a year or two ago. All right, so uh, let's just say, for example, we've heard that Jonathan Edwards may have preached a sermon one time about Deuteronomy 32, 35, and maybe it had a, an impact. So, um, you know, what do we do? Well, we type in Deuteronomy 32, 35 in our verse bar, and it's going to bring up this verse right here. And then halfway through the verse, their foot shall slide in due time. Huh, I think I've heard Jonathan Edwards... Uh, or have read about Jonathan Edwards maybe saying something about that, uh, July 8, 1741 in Enfield, Connecticut. All right, so we go over here and we see our little study Bible, and he's got about a, a little paragraph comment about that verse. Um, and so we think, well, he's probably said more about it than that. Well, we can go down here to this Jonathan Edwards collection, and we see that, uh, oh, let me, Make sure this is on verse 35. There we go. All right. We can see that in this Jonathan Edwards collection have 24 results. All right. So in the works of Jonathan Edwards, this verse alone shows up 24 times in the Jonathan Edwards related um, material. So I can go down through here. I can search. And uh -huh, there's a title that I've seen before. Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. So I can click on that. And that takes me to... Um, volume 1739, that takes me to volume 22, volume 22 in the works of Jonathan Edwards. And I can read the um, introduction to the sermon, uh, which is, uh, you know, several pages of helpful material, and then it gets into the actual sermon itself. Uh, there's probably a good chance that this uh, sermon is also listed in, yep, in the Jonathan Edwards Encyclopedia, um, which I uh, wanted to mention to you, there, there's Pastor Matt right there, the guy behind the reason I made the first video. Um, he was a contributor to that encyclopedia. But I can go down here to Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God and check out the, um, the encyclopedia entry as well. And as you can see here, uh, there's actually a reference, which would, if I did not have this volume open, which would take me back To that, um, uh, to that uh, relevant section in volume 22, which is pages 400 through 435. So it is nice that even though it's an electronic version, uh, they show you exactly where the, um, let's see, show page numbers. They show you exactly where the page numbers are. 
So if you're doing your studying with the hardback books at your office or at church or something, and you go home and you don't have those hardback books with you, but you know that you were on page 402, then you can open up your software, uh, type in page 402, and go right there and pick back up at your studies with your electronic um, edition. Another thing, maybe for example, maybe let's say you're in the New Testament, uh, you want to see what Jonathan Edwards said about Romans 8, 28. And so uh, we pull up that chapter in our column on the Bible. We're also going to find out that he made a note about it in his personal study Bible, the blank Bible, which is also going to link us to 459, excuse me, in Notes on the Scriptures, volume 15. And we can see that it has quite a lengthy entry on... <coughs> on this verse in volume 15. But not only does he have that one entry in volume 24 and the other entry in the notes in volume 15, but over here in the bottom right hand corner we're going to see that this verse is actually found 27 times in what I've entitled the Jonathan Edwards collection. Again, which includes the 26 um, printed volumes as well as some other supplements that I've added added to there. And um, so, for example, I know that he mentioned it in a letter, I think, to Gillespie. Yeah. Um, so here's uh, letter number two, Edwards to Gillespie, uh, which is actually not in volume 16, the letters volume, but here we see it's in volume two, the religious affections. Well, I say it would be in volume 16, but it also is found here um, as a related correspondence to the religious affections. And uh, so that is neat uh, to know that, hey, you know, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't have thought to look in volume two to see what, uh, to look for a letter on Romans 8, 28. Um, but it is nice that it uh, references that for you. Um, also, uh, you know, uh, the miscellanies. Uh, we can see that entry number 702 um, is a miscellany in which he does mention Romans 8, 28, and I can scroll down through here, and that verse uh, should be highlighted whenever we get to it. We can see, yeah, there we go. So Romans 28, 28 through 30, uh, which even though it is not listed out, Romans 8, 28, um, the software is tagged in such a way, even if that exact reference is not found printed in the text, the, the guys at Logos have gone through the, the painstaking task, I'm sure, of actually linking 28 through 30 to Romans 8, 28 through 30, so that it still shows up in your searches. Um, and, you know, you could take that as far, you know, um, as, far as you wanted to go. Um, even uh, here we see uh, in Romans 8, Romans 8.28 is found in Works of Jonathan Edwards, Volume 1, which is not the Yale edition, but it's going to be what would be commonly called the Banner of Truth edition. Um, and, you know, there it, there it is. Okay, so um, that'll just give you an idea of how, uh, for some people, you know, it may be helpful um, to add this to your um, virtual library. Uh, so you can, you know, you can mark it up, take notes on it, highlight it, and things like that. And it is, you know, neat to know you can go in here and search for your highlights and, you know, see all your highlighted passages from volume 24 in the blank Bible. You know, you can go back over here. Uh, let's see. Um, pretty sure I'll have some In volume 16. Let's see if I can find that very quickly. Letters and personal writings. Um, I've got some highlights in here. And so uh, there, at a quick glance, I can see that I've got 19 highlights in volume 16. Um, and I can go through here and, you know, just instead of, you know, fanning through an 800 page book, I can just bring up all my highlights in one section. Um, so that is, you know, that is neat to have. All right, so uh, if you have any questions about how this software works, uh, as I said, I'm still learning, but I'll be glad to help you out any way I can. Um, but hopefully this video is just giving you an idea of how, uh, you know, you can read virtually, electronically, digitally, uh, the works of Jonathan Edwards. If you're not one to go about um, getting the, the 26 volumes or not even, you know, interested in getting the two volumes from Banner of Truth, uh, you can, the nice thing in our day and age, we can read them for free at edwards.yale.edu 
and we can uh, get them uh, from Logos Bible Software and incorporate that material into all of the, the great, great tools uh, that that software can do. Um, and, you know, just further your, your studies and uh, you know, 26 volumes is hard to you know, wrap your mind around and remember, you know, all the notes and highlights you've taken. Uh, so if you can add them, you know, electronically, uh, electronically, electronically, it'll make it, you know, maybe a little bit easier uh, to always say, oh yeah, I remember I highlighted it with the red highlighter um, and I added a note to it. And so, you know, you can find that very, very easily. And, you know, with smartphones and tablets, um, just have, you know, these 26 volumes that sit on a shelf, you know, just have them right there with you in your pocket, uh, ready, ready to read and look up and things like that. All right. Uh, hope that that's helpful. Take care. Check out the other videos. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment and let me know.